hello. I thought I was just recording and I wanted to record myself um, doing some of my house plant maintenance. However, after I finished, I saw I wasn't recording. So I guess I could show the post process. Is that, is that the right way to say it? Like afterwards? Because there is a hot mess express going on over here. You can't see it. Maybe I can try to get it on camera. But, um, you know, this is one of my hobbies and I've developed it. I'm one of the many Americans that developed the plant life game. Um, well, let's say I tapped into it during COVID. And so I've been indoor gardening now. Indoor gardening is just the fancy way to say, you know, having houseplants. But it is gardening, so it's called indoor gardening. I've been indoor gardening now for about three years. Two and a half, three years. And now I have transitioned to outdoor gardening. I live in a condominium, so, you know, I garden on my patio and containers and stuff like that. But um, actually in the ground gardening, I've been doing it since June of 2021. So, um, yeah, it is one of those things that just like with anything you do, it actually kind of can be super duper messy. There's a big learning curve. I mean, I feel like I'm still a novice um, and it's all relative, it's all on a scale. When I talk to people who have been gardening for 20 years, obviously I'm a novice. But when I've been talking to somebody who's been doing it for two months, I sound like I really know everything. So it's just really humbling and it just helps me keep on my path. And um, it kind of reminds me of this YouTube channel and um, where I'm going in my life, um, this entrepreneurial slash gig economy, i.e. just stepping into my authentic self. Um, it takes patience. It takes perseverance. Um, you know, I really have never enjoyed technology. Even in high school, like all the things that came out, I mean, high school for me was, you know, 20 years ago at this point. But even in high school, technology was coming out. I never adopted it. I was like, nah, I'm good. And so now I'm realizing that if I just have patience, I can adopt it. So anyways, that's a side thing. I'll show you what I ended up doing and I didn't record so you can see sweat. Like it was serious. Um, I repotted these two plants, so this plant was in a pretty small container. It's a little dirty right now. I got to clean it. Like I said, we're in the post-production part, so I'll clean it up to make it nice and pretty, and she's drip drying still, but, um, she was in a pretty small terracotta pot, and, um, I needed to get her, get her in something bigger. So here she is, but then she had two little babies and I decided to propagate the babies and put them in here. So hopefully the babies do well. See, I even have the gardening finger fingernails. I actually need to cut my fingernails because at this point, now that I'm gardening, it's not cute. Um, so that's that. And then what I also did is part of this journey that I'm on is I'm working on propagation. Propagation just means basically creating new plants, growing new plants from the plants that you already have existing. So you can propagate by division, which is what I just did with this plant right here. This mama, she had sprouted two babies. So I decided to go ahead and propagate that and put the babies in here. I waited until they looked like they were pretty healthy and strong. I didn't just like rip them from the mama, you know, so. Um, and you can also propagate by like um, cuttings and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm working on my propagation game. And another thing I'm working on is my seed game. So these, I just planted all of these. These are all a whole bunch of seedlings in here. It's dirty, I'll clean it up to make it look nice and pretty. Um, and we'll see how it works. Um, I've done seeds a few times and each time it's gotten a little bit better, but each time it's kind of flopped. So I'm just learning how to do it. So, and here, the seedlings are a Florida, it's a Florida wildflower mix. And then these were some daisy seeds. So I am going to cover this up with some something clear. I wish I had like a nice dome thing to put on top of it because the point of the seedlings is they want that super um, humid environment. 
Um, I don't know if I have like a clear dome thing to put on top of it. If not, I'll just use some plastic wrap because it's clear, I'll still be able to get sun, and then I'll poke some holes in it to create a humid environment. I really don't enjoy using plastic too much. I mean, this is plastic in here, but I try to be very mindful of my plastic usage. So anyway, so wish the seedlings luck. Wish this new, these babies luck. They just moved out of their mama's house. And wish mama luck in her new big retired home. So, I need to clean, um, I don't even know, I'm not even going to mess with the camera to try to show you the Hot Mess Express, but it does look fun. I do look like I'm in a jungle. I have my snake plants, I have my Arisa palm here. Um, this plant actually is an invasive species, so if you do have this in your yard, um, try not to replicate, propagate them, they'll take over. Um, but this is, I think it's called donkey ears. My mom actually calls it, what does she say I call it? Uh, siempre vive, which means like always li living. So yeah, we have taken species from where they should be and we've added them to areas where they should not be um, because we think it looks pretty. Um, however, it does mess with the natural ecosystem. So, okay, that's just my environmentalism emotions of the day. So anyways, I hope you're well. I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. Um, this video is getting longer than I usually like to keep them. So I don't know, I don't have much else to say. So from my heart to yours, I'm sending you L-O-V-E with an exclamation mark. Ciao.